I'm in the Stitch office today. Developers are really familiar with SSH keys, right? You use them to, to authenticate into your GitHub. Uh, it has a public and private key pair. It's stored locally on your device. You can copy and paste it. You could use it across multiple repos if you wanted. You could do whatever. Um, WebAuthn, that standard, then took that public-private key pair and added a requirement uh, to associate it with a specific domain. So now you have a public-private key pair with a, a, an explicit domain. Then pass keys layered on a bunch of other stuff, and there's totally different flavors of pass keys. Apple has their own flavor, Google has their own flavor. Um, and that could be different backup methods, different uh, cross-device uh, sharing capability, and that's kind of the evolution of how public-private key uh, encryption got to pass keys. A pass key is a set of public and private keys that are shared between your device and a website to log in. Essentially allows this device uh, you know, using my fingerprint or face ID to log into some website somewhere. That's the simplest way of explaining a passkey. Passkeys are non-spoofable. Uh, you can't share them across a website, so if uh, one passkey is compromised, all of your other passkeys are safe. More and more, we're seeing a ton of adoption, a big push by Apple, Google, Microsoft. Passkeys will be the default authentication method in the relatively near future, and you need to be on top of it.